All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defender. So there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just there. During their fight camp, they made a checklist. They checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, working inside the closed guard now. And it's a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Oliver. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Now it's his mouth. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. 25 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. Look at him whip his hip. He needs to get on the bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice right hand. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take many of those hooks to end your night. Over and over, he lands big body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Olivera's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And that one certainly found the target. 15 seconds. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kick, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is going to continue. You ready? You ready? Second round here. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again? Here I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence, and it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? He loaded up there on that high kick. Outstanding output on both sides. Oh! Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the previous round. Still plenty of time to go in this one. Still plenty of time to go in this round. And if he is not careful, one of those hooks will put him to sleep. 
big body kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? There was an elite elbow. So he's mixing everything up. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oliveira's got the full mount. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Oliveira's right back to the full mount here. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, close guard now. He's got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, his opponent's squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotines, but the Okay, you ready? You ready? Timely defense there, huge block for him. Look at the turn and that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, we wondered earlier why. Oh! right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, big left hook there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Hey. Beautiful knee. Oh, big knee there. Knee to the body. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. But that one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Oliveira. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Olivera's trying for the Kimura submission here. And he's out. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. How good is this display of ground and pound tonight? Another elbow to the head. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran, a 
so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fight over your time. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Take your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Oh! Oh! He lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Nice. He's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, good takedown. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Right. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot. Oh, locked. man, look at that. Victor perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful thing. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Elbow to the head there by Oliveira. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him right here. Oh! 
Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Are right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damn Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Come on, man. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oliveira gets caught, and it was a big elbow there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen it up. Oh, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this. 